This is the MIDI portion of the input and output video. Uh, when we look at a MIDI channel, you see that the MIDI ends offer you a computer keyboard, which is ASDF through JKL um, as a piano. Uh, these are MIDI yokes. Uh, that's a whole different thing. And my other inputs that I can use, I'm going to select USB Axiom because that's what I'm playing with. Uh, I'm going to drop a MIDI instrument in. When I do, you'll notice that the MIDI 2 or out changes from no output to an audio out, audio to master. So now it's taking my MIDI signal and turning it into audio. And then when I arm that, so it's as easy as that. Um, I'm going to show you a trick or two with uh, MIDI tricks, with MIDI. Uh, I picked this res because, hey, oh, that's a real sneeze, so excuse me. I picked this res because it's free and also it has a lot of great sounds. Uh, you see, um, and also that it has a bank, which is what it means when you can click this little box and look at all the presets in a row. Um, some do, some don't. Um, but what I'm going to do is create a new MIDI track and send MIDI out to Res. I'm not going to arm it. I'm going to create a MIDI clip. In this MIDI clip, I could play Res theoretically, theoretically by putting in notes like this. Alright, so now I'm playing it on from the secondary channel. I'm not going to do that right now, though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a clip that does not loop. I'm going to change the quantization to none. And I'm going to attach it to a button that I push. In this case, I'm going to assign it to a MIDI key. And I'm going to go ahead and assign the next button to a MIDI key too because I'm going to duplicate it. So I duplicate it. And then the first one, I'm going to go down to bank and pick the first bank. I'm going to go to program, pick the first program. I'm going to ignore sub bank for this one. On the second one, I'm going to do the same thing except program two. So now I have one and two. You can see that they each are triggered when I click the buttons that I assign them to. And that's sending a message, program and bank change. And that's how you uh, can set up something to change banks on a specific instrument. Um, let's see what happens when I group this and throw a different instrument in there. I don't know. Uh, string theory is this is the sister to res, so we'll throw that in. Uh, all right, so instrument. Now I want to send the one to res. So it should still only change res. So now um, you can see I'll split my res and my string theory. I'm going to make another MIDI channel, send it to instrument rack string theory, and I'm going to duplicate these clips over here. I'm going to use the exact same ones because it's just program one and two. I'm going to change this one because I don't like program one. I'm going to change it to program 38. So now I have, now if I assign those two to buttons, I'll say these two buttons. These are just MIDI notes. Uh, I normally assign them to a, just a pad or something. Anyway.
so that's how you change multiple MIDI nodes. And uh, what I would do is make these, like remove the stop buttons on all the other clips in the area and not work in this area, you know, make my song somewhere else. But these are just uh, control clips, I call them, and specifically changing those messages. I hope that helps. Later.